Hopefully you guys can see me. Sitting here about to eat some um, a bagel with cream cheese and my coffee, guys. So here's some don'ts with Amazon. For you guys that want to sell on Amazon or is already selling on Amazon, guys. If a customer cancels an order, okay? If a customer cancels an order, so what? Don't get upset, right? Don't get upset. You know, just keep it moving, guys. Do you know how many sales you can actually make on Amazon? I made over 500 sales on Amazon. So, do you know how many <coughs> sales you can potentially make just to get upset about one order? So, I ordered something and one of my customers canceled the order. And I ordered it, you know, from another vendor. And the vendor got all upset with me and started cursing me out and, oh my God, are you serious? I'm a single mom and all that stuff. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck if you're a single mom and all that stuff. Like, what, what does that have to do with you canceling my order? Oh, I already shipped it. I said, okay, ma'am, if you already shipped it, what I'm gonna do is when I wait with my customer who gets it and my customer still doesn't want it, we'll just return it to you. Then, you know, the eBay seller, she gets crazy and she says, oh, um, um, I'm going to the post office now. Do you want me to ship it or not? So she had a real bad attitude. So I, I'm assuming she's a single mom. She's stressed out. She's trying to make money on eBay and, you know, kind of like not working out. I'm assuming sales are not good. But here's how it works, guys. Being in Amazon, doing cryptocurrency, doing affiliate marketing, doing any of that shit, guys. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You still have to put your business hat on at the same time. You can't come in any type of business and have attitudes and be nasty to your customers. You won't, you won't have a long-term business, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now, okay? My customer service, my customer sent me a message, my customer sent me an email. I'm polite. I'm nice to them because that is everything, guys. You got to know what's, what you're doing. You can't just say, oh, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk to people any kind of fucking way. Guys, you won't have a long-term business. You got to put your business hat on, your customer service hat on when you're dealing with Amazon, when you're dealing with business, period, guys. So this is a don't with Amazon, guys. Don't get upset. Don't get mad. If your customer wants to return something or cancel something, and if it's within that 30-day period, then just return it, guys. One sale, okay, should not make you lose sleep. One sale of a return or a refund should not make you lose sleep. And if it is, then guess what? You're not making enough sales. No. So that's one of the don'ts, guys, with Amazon. Treat your customers right. Ship on time. And if they want to return within 30 days, just return it. All right, just send them a shipping label and return it and give them a refund. Send it back to your vendor. Okay, guys, but never get upset. Never get all crazy and, and oh, my God, and, you know, making the person feel inferior because of one item. Guys, I made all 500 sales on Amazon. I'm not going to lose sleep over one. I'm not going to get crazy over one person. But like I said, the eBay seller, she got all crazy. She's a single mom. Her, her baby father died or her husband died or whatever. I'm like, okay, I don't care. I just want you to cancel my order. That's it. Oh, are you kidding me? I just paid for the shipping. Like, she's telling me all this. Like, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Because reality is my Amazon customer, she, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> What's going on? They just want to cancel and get their money back. That's it. Simple as that. You keep it moving. One sale, one cancellation ain't going to break me, guys. Because if I have one cancellation, I'll have 10, 20 sales in a day. You know, 50 sales by the end of the week. So I'm going to crowd with one sale. Come on, guys. We got to boss up. Okay? You're either going to make a decision to boss up or you're going to be bossed around for the rest of your life, guys. So if you're interested in Amazon and doing my Amazon course, um, if you're paying in Bitcoin, guys, you got $100 off. If you're paying with Bitcoin, I'll just send you my Bitcoin address so that you can, um, you know, actually pay and you save $100. And now you'll be able to get yourself in position, especially this Christmas money and this New Year's money. Guys, don't keep watching and saying, oh, I wish I could do this. You can. You got to get started. You can. Give yourself the gift. 
You know what I'm saying? Of starting your own e-commerce store for Christmas. Instead of buying yourself a Louis bag, a new wig, or buying your kids a bunch of bullshit, start you something that's going to help you bring in money and become valuable over time. It's real simple, guys. It's really, really simple, but you got to take action, guys. So, createyourownecondomy.com. See you soon.